and foremost, congratulations on the album, movie, great body of work. Um, and the merch. The Thank merch, you. The merch is fire. I got to give me a shirt and uh, some shorts. So I get that. Okay, shout out to Terry. Me and him designed it together. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, were you hands on with that or was it designed to you? So it was, it was a collaboration? Yeah, it was a collaboration. We, But you know, he's fly, like, so I let him do him, but nah, we're sitting there like picking the colors and like, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah nah, it's collab. It's fire. I, I already know which ones, which Jordan ones I'm gonna wear with it when it comes in. So yeah, it's gonna be nice. So, um, mm -hmm. Monique Thank video you. is out now, and you're super icy in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Are you a jewelry person? My what? I said, are you a jewelry person? Because I seen in the Monique video, you had a lot of ice on. Like, do you wear a lot of jewelry naturally? Yeah, I love jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like an added, like, I need my jewelry on, and yeah. I have my watch on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's your favorite piece of jewelry that you own? Uh, I really like my jean necklace. It's at home right now. Sometimes I be chilling too, like, you know what I'm saying? I always wear like this little ring right here. It's like, you know, cause uh, then I got my little ice, you know? Gotcha. But I would probably say, I would probably say my watch because I wear it all the time. So. Yeah, it's like your everyday. I'm about to get a movie chain though. I have to get a movie chain. <laughs> I just got this. Yeah, I don't know if you see it, but I just got this. This is my brand, Cosign. Got it outlined in diamonds and all that. So, yeah, it's cool. It's nice. Cool. Awesome. But um, okay. being that we're called Cosign, I watched your interview with Complex, and they talked about um, how Diddy co-signs you. But I want to go. I want to go before Danny was like an artist, right? Like, so who was like the first person that co-signed you musically? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like a big cosign. I mean, it didn't even got to be big. Be somebody like one of the homies. Like early on, it was like, you, I know you're killing in the dance, but you should probably do the singing thing. Like, yeah. The first person that believed in you. Yanni. Yanni for sure. <laughs> you know Yanni? Now, who's that? Okay, he's from Cleveland. That's my bro. Like, that's my, I call him my producer dad. Like, I love him. <laughs> He, I was the first person. Yeah, he's from Cleveland. He's dope. He got, he did a couple joints on my, on my album. He oh. always on my album. Yeah, so he's like, he started. I started with him like writing and being in the studio because I didn't do all that until I moved to uh, LA. You know what I mean? I was just like, that's when I saw the studio and started writing. But I was in Orlando before and I was dancing. So, yeah. Thank uh, you. For sure. So what's that? Uh. What's that transition like? Because I heard that, you know, saying you was on tour with Megan Trainer, I believe, and then you got the deal. So what was that transition from like, I'm a dancer now to now, like I'm an artist? Like, how were you mentally and what prepared yeah. to transition into that? Um, shit. I just feel like it was like a good transition because I already got to like see the behind the scenes, like, you know, of being a dancer. And like, I went on tour with Megan. I went on tour with Jeremiah. Right. So, and then on tour with Jeremiah was like J. Cole, Big Sean, YG. So it's like, I got to see and travel the world and shit. But the transition was fun and it was dope because I literally was on tour with all of them. Yeah. And they were like, wow, you signed a Def Jam, okay? Like, they looked at me differently. Like, I was like, yeah. Nah. I remember me when I was dancing. <laughs> Not bad. So, all right. So, music comes on, right? Do you dance first or you harmonize and sing first? Like, which one is more natural for you? Like, your first thing to do? Um, dance, probably. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like a song, I, but I mean, I'm always, you know, vibe to it, sing to it, but I'm a Nazi to start moving. Yeah, that's a good question, Malcolm. Okay. Yeah, nah. oh, all right. So I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to because I watch a lot of your interviews. So I'm trying to refrain from you know the everyday question people ask. No, you. that I. Because <laughs> I'm like, good job, man. Because I would have just been talking about the same, you know. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I'm like, man, I know she's probably tired of talking about this. Like, not to not to rag on anybody, but you know what I'm saying. When yeah, they, yeah. You know when they say, yeah, tell, about, tell me about the album. It's like you know. I, <laughs> you know, you're gonna talk about the same thing. So I'm trying to do something different, but that's love though. All right, so um, in one of your interviews, you mentioned you're a, you're, uh, you're a fan of Sesh Music. You know, he's Panamanian and uh, I'm also Panamanian. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what is it about Sick that you really like about him? And so I always try to make sure I show love to my fellow Panamanians. So I want to talk about him for a second. That's 
Yeah, I like his vibe. Like, I like his tone. He got a dope tone. That's yeah. important. Like, I gravitate to tones and, like, a vibe. Like, the production he be doing and shit. Like, you know? Yeah. I feel like he's dope and his voice is crazy. No, it is. It is so, crazy. yeah. That's why. I just, I could hear our voices together and it would be yeah. a dope collab. Yeah, we need, we need yeah. that. We need that. So, um, so I, on your YouTube, you, do you read a lot of your comments? Yeah. So, you I, know, I take my time to just look at what everybody looks and feels about them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So on the situations, audio video, somebody wrote, um, I really don't know what's going on in her life that she dropped this masterpiece of an album, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they call it a masterpiece. So how much of movie is like real life experiences? Um, shoot, there's a lot of truth to everything that I do. It just yeah. you know, comes from my heart and it starts with my music, you know what I'm saying? So it's all very real, but yeah. That's what's up. Uh, you'll see on the movie, you know? Go watch the movie <laughs> and facts. figure it out. <laughs> now, facts, it's a real, like, love story. Um, have you have you read The Five Love Languages before? This book called The Five Love Languages? I've never heard about it, but I've heard about it. All right, so I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a question real quick. I got it right here. So they said the five love languages are words of affirmations, acts of service, receiving mm -hmm. gifts, quality time, or physical touch. Right. So which? What do you think is your love? Yeah. language? That physical touch. I feel like I gotta be those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's no. up. Yeah. That's what's up. It could be, I mean, sometimes it's a combination of all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have you do lack. No, definitely everything is important. Yeah. But, you know, definitely everything is important. I need no. all that. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know? I would say I would say mine's probably quality time. I know how, how life can get busy. You know what I'm saying? So somebody can give me, you know, an hour of their time, two hours. That's, that's dope. Um, and then on the joint, Diamonds on Me, you got Dallas on Yellow Beezy on there. You know what I'm saying like, uh, what is it like working with Yellow Beezy? How that, how that connection even happened with you and Yellow? I and R like had wanted us to work together, so we had gotten together in the studio after Miami and Rolling Loud. Okay. And he just came, yeah, he just came through and like, I pressed play like on just like what song you like, you know what I mean? And we all said we all knew he was gonna pick Diamonds on me, though, like so. <laughs> It was fire, like, I got to see him do his verse and everything, like, he was hard, he's hard. That's what's so dope. And then going into uh, to your record, Famous, um, I mean, you've always been around celebrities and all that, but like, how did life change for you when you became famous? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you, how, how did you change? How'd you move around? What was different for you now? I mean, everything is different for sure. I feel like, yeah, I just, it's like a, I mean, but I've been used to it because I've just been in this game for so long. I've been here since I was 16. So like you said, I'm always around it. So, but it's definitely, it feels different. Like, you know, the elevation and stuff, like getting more blessings and stuff. Like, I feel it. Not for the day to day, is it exhausting though? Like sometimes you might just want to kick it and people pull up or you, you just kind of- Yes, I be trying to, I be trying to chill, but I don't be trying to chill because I like to work like, yeah. I like to be busy, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be having fun with what I do. But I do be needing my time. Uh, yeah. I think this, uh, I think this pandemic, like, you pulled off a lot of work. Like, you released the album, you did some YouTube videos behind the scenes. Like, you stayed busy, host some virtual tours. Like, are you gonna bring back? Right. The, are you gonna bring back the workout with Danny, or, 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 or so you gonna bring that back? Yeah, I've been working out. I have a couple. I've been I've been working out like for like I got back into it. Yeah. I be posting my videos, but you know, the girl get tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I be <laughs> but no, I'm about to get back into it. Like, yeah. Nah, like, I know you've been on it, but like I know your YouTube, like you was had like a couple videos back to back, and then it come back to the music. I think a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying, want to watch those, you know, saying those tutorials and the videos you working out. And try, it motivate them to get back on, especially with the new year coming back around. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right. No, they definitely get motivated. <laughs> oh my God. But, um, I think one of my favorite all-time videos of yours is the Easy Remix with Chris Brown. Like, that's just crazy. It's just a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, who you think would win at a dance battle between y'all two, low-key? You know, versus is huge, but like, if y'all was to dance, you and Chris Brown, who got it? They always want to ask me this question. I'm not about to say Chris Brown is going to beat me. Like, what? <laughs> 
No, like, come on. <laughs> I I'll can't be, do choreography, though. Like, yeah, give me the cool. same choreography as Chris Brown, and I'll bet you I can do it. Like, just, just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I also notice. I also notice everybody ask you to like teach them a dance. Like even like in your little in your finish line campaign video, it was dope. But like you had to teach dirt, <laughs> and then in the complex, right. you know, like everybody wants to know. Like, have you ever thought about maybe making like a little side hustle, doing some courses, teaching people how to dance or something, or, or, or what? Right. I think no, that's... but I should open up. I should open up a dance studio. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, facts. You should. Business. Business. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna. I like dancing and stuff, but it's not really like my passion to like teach people how to dance. I just, nah. I do it. You know what I mean? Nah, I feel you. I feel you. But you're wrapping up. I ain't, I ain't got too much take too much of your time. I got like two more questions left. So I know music is, you know, saying your priority right now, and you want to take it international, take it as big as you can get. But have you already thought about start thinking about maybe like other things you want to do, businesses you want to get into, maybe like real estate or anything else, fashion? Like what other what other things do you want to do? Uh, I'm about to do everything. I'm I'm actually about to buy a house in DR. Congratulations. It's closing like next next week. Thank you. Thank you. And then you know, just a different yeah, I wanna do fashion, like definitely. That's my next move I think, because I'm passionate about it. Right. And then, you know, makeup, all that. I wanna do everything. I wanna be like Brianna. <laughs> nah, for real, just a serial entrepreneur. I see it in me. I see the um speaking of DR real quick. So, you know, during the pandemic, DR and Tulum was like the places people were going. Like I've been to Punta Cana and uh, the Plata before. Like, where do you recommend people going to DR when they go visit? But I want to go like to like where? Punta Cana, Casa de Campo, Punta Cana. Okay. I like that place because it's uh, it just got mad nice houses, like you know, and like it has a restaurant. It got a private beach. Yeah. And uh, wrapping up. So like, I'm big on motivation like motivational quotes or sayings or things people say, right? So like, what's the motivation quote you live by or that kind of motivates you that you kind of look back to when you feel maybe, you know, uninspired at the moment? Like, what's like, what's the two-liner that gets you going? Mm. I'll give you an example because I put you on the spot. So, like, so mine's is like, um, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You know what I'm saying? That makes me like, all right, KG, you got to shoot your shot out here. You know what I'm saying? All I can say is no. Man, so that's my motive. That's one of my motives. Mine's about to be so basic. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I gotta really think on that because that is like a good thing to live by or whatever. But yeah, I just look at like I just uh, yeah. I just like I got is that a quote? <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a, it's the same. It's facts though. And uh yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, um you know, I have to ask since it is co-sign. It doesn't have to be a celebrity at all. So, you know what I'm saying? Just put that in your mind. Who do you co-sign? You know what I'm saying? Who do you really support and, and rally behind? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Cash Page, she's fired. She's from Dallas too. Okay. That's what's up. Um, I'm trying to think of like newer artists that are like dope. Um, I like to just listen to like a lot of music too. Like, so I like to listen to albums and stuff. So, I feel like Chippy Red's album was fire. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I even like that you have Fabio Foreign on the uh, on the remix. Like, I just like his vibe. That's my homie. Yeah, yeah that's the that's the bro. He's fire. I fuck with him. He's from New York too. He's just cool, he's real. <laughs> all around saying bow all the time. Like, I don't I don't know. Right. He all he says is viral, viral, yeah, viral. Movie. <laughs> Yo, that's all he says. You have a conversation with him. It's real life. It's so funny. Like real life facts. <laughs> he always says viral. It's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, no, nah, that's that's crazy. All right, and then uh, you know, December, your birthday's coming up. Mine's the fifteenth, twenty-first Savage game out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Be the best. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to tell people. <laughs> I've been trying to tell them. Um, so this would be after your birthday, but like if if somebody wanted to get you something, it would be like a birthday present that may not be as oblivious. Like what would Candle. you do? Candles. Candles? I feel like I, it's hard to get me gifts because I like You can get it yourself. Shit. Like, yeah, so I just get it myself. So get me mad candles. Like mm -hmm. I can always use candles in my house, you know? That's what's up.